We're here with Terrell Davis celebrating the Super Bowl 32 team. Yeah. What's it like when you're around these guys again? Uh, a lot of laughter, fun, a lot of inside jokes, a lot of characters. I mean, we had a, you know, I think the, not the most important thing is obviously winning, but I think as you win, you want to enjoy it, right? So we were able to have a really good time back in 97, 98, and now we're able to, to kind of, you know, reflect on 25 years of, you know, just friendships and just times where, you know, we, we get together and we just have a great time. So, I mean, I think that's what it's all about. You know, again, we, 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 we had our mission, we won our championship, but I love seeing these guys and seeing what they're up to and they're, they're my family, man. That's, that's really what it's, what it's about. Uh, the stories get a little bit bigger, maybe. Uh, yeah, they get, they get yeah, a little yeah. bit more embellishment, a little bit, yeah, they, <laughs> little bit more, a little bit more embellishment on top of stories. But the, but the, the true content of the story and the foundation of the stories are, they are what they are. But we do, we do. I mean, I do. I ham it up a little bit too. You being Super Bowl MVP that yeah. year, I mean, this team had battled for so long, lost all those Super Bowls. Yeah. Then you show up, and boom, so much success right away. You know, it's just about doing my part. It's a team sport. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it is, man. If you really just boil it down, if everybody does their part, then as the as the whole, it works. You know, I knew that I wasn't I wasn't gonna try to go in the game and 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 rely on John to to make the plays or Shannon or Rye, even though they made their plays. I went to a game knowing that TD, if they give me the football, then they're they're entrusting me. And they're giving me a responsibility that I had to I had for honor. And I and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed knowing that I'm getting the ball 30 times a game and I had to make something work. But again, it, it's not just about me, man. And I feel kind of bad tonight because we were up there, they had like five of us on the panel. We got a big team. And so my my gut is like everybody should be up there on that stage talking, not just me. And that's just the way our team functioned. We were we were just a team, and everything we did didn't matter who made the plays. Go make a play, and we're gonna play for each other. We loved each other, and the biggest thing was not letting letting your teammate down or the coaches down. That's what I felt. I gotta ask you about this year's team, this year's Broncos squad. You see some of those same qualities in this year's squad, because obviously off to a two and four start, a lot of new pieces. What do you think about this team? Yes, you know, it's early and it's, I mean, obviously it's been disappointing so far. Let's be honest, it's, no one can, can't sugarcoat it. We, we expected things to happen faster. But I'm also a guy that's, I think, I think about a process and that there is steps. You know, the season's not over. We've only played six games. We've got you know, 11 more games to play. And the great thing about, about sports is that you can have that moment where everything just clicks. You've been working your butt off. It might seem like everything is, is not working. But you have a game where it just clicks, and then you can get on a roll, and that's what I what that's what I'm I'm probably believing that can happen or hoping it can happen. Um, but yeah, I mean overall, I think we've all been disappointed in how it started off, and it's not it hasn't been a lack of effort. It's just they're still trying to gel. It's a new team. You got a new head coach. You got a new G. I mean everything. I need GM second year, but it's been relatively new with everything, and that that doesn't happen overnight. It is a process, and so I, I, I'm. This is again coaching, coach speaking, and, <laughs> but trust the process. Okay, I like it. Trust the process. I like it. Let's lean more into it. Work harder, uh, or keep working hard, and you know, hopefully things will start to materialize. Uh, the last one I had for you, TD. Later in your career, you had that knee injury. A guy like Javante Williams, is so much promise, so much you know, so much hope for his career. He has a bad knee injury. What would be your advice to him as he works his way back from this? My advice would be don't rush it. We have the tendency to rush trying to get back sooner than we than our body is allowing us to do it. And I feel like when I, when I played, that was my big mistake. Um, Cause I wanted it badly. I wanted to come back. I wanted to be there with my guys. I wanted to play, but you know, your, your body's going to, it's going to tell you all you need to know. And you're going to be tempted, but I'll say, don't rush it. I mean, obviously work hard as you can to get back as soon as you can. But if there's any doubt that you're not who you are, don't, don't rush it, man. Appreciate your time, TD. Always good catching up, man. Hi, brother. Good to see you, man.